And another thing, to get the most lung efficiency, stand up. Stop trying to fucking sit down and hit the bone. It doesn't, it's not as good. When you're in PE, have you ever heard somebody, oh, you're out of breath? Uh, bend over and put your hands on your head. Never once. They always say, stand up straight and put your hands on your head, right? So you can open your lungs. Oh! Hey, what's up YouTube, Dope is Yoli here. Hope you're having a dope ass day. Today's video is gonna be something super important that I think every single fucking person out there should know. I get a lot of dumb looks like, yeah, right. This is how to pack and hit a bong properly. I know on 99% of you goes, I know how to hit a bong, bro. And maybe you do, but there's a lot of people out there that do not know how to hit bongs and it makes them afraid of the bongs. I have a lot of homies from Europe that when they come to my house, I'm like, you want to hit the bong? No, 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 hell no, I don't hit bongs, bro. They're harsh, they hurt, I just smoke splits. Like, no, 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 you don't like it because you probably fill it up halfway through, run out of breath, cover it up, <gasps> and then try to clear it and it tastes like shit. And that's the number one thing that people hate bongs for. I'm gonna show you today how to pack it right because packing is all the world, world of difference and how to hit it right. Because if you don't hit it right, you're gonna fucking hate bongs. And I smoke a lot of weed. I will smoke all my weed out of a bong because it's the best way for me to get high, the quickest and the strongest. All right, this is exactly how I explain it to every single person because it makes the most sense. Do you know when you like uh, in the cartoons or in movies where people dig a hole in the ground and they cover it with sticks? They dig a hole, they cover it with sticks, put some leaves on it so people walk and fall, fall straight in. That's what you want to do with this. Here's your hole in the ground. This one little piece, you want to cover half the bottom hole. That's it. Not the full. You want to cover half of the bottom. That's it. Half of the bottom and that bottom hole is your hole in the ground. And these are your sticks. I know it sounds ridiculous saying it that way, but you'll get why. There's one leaf holding all the rest of the bowl up because if you clog that hole at the bottom immediately, you're gonna go Phew. You ever get hit the bong and it just stops pulling because you clogged the bottom. I smoke bongs every single day and I still fuck up sometimes. So what you wanna do is piece by piece pack, pack a bowl, dude. And I know I have homies that will literally get a nug and just shove it in there. Don't do that. Don't do that shit. You're just burning your weed up. You're not even hitting it. So you see how I'm packing it very, very lightly. I'm not pushing down. You ever see people do this and they go and push it down? That's, that's why you get that burn hard char and then you have to flip the bowl and it's still green. And I know you guys saw the freeze pipe video and I said I only pack snaps. Snaps is like no, not full bowls. Once you start packing like pieces of nug, it doesn't hit right. If you like your way of hitting the bong, stay that way. This is just for people that aren't like super, super, super like confident on hitting bongs. It looks like a super fat bowl, right? But in all reality, it's barely layered. So if I did push it down, it'd be a half bowl. It's just so fluffed up because what you want is fluff, right? You want fluff like here's the bottom of your hole and here's the leaves and the sticks. So the bottom of the hole's still here. So when you hit the top, the top's gonna burn and it's gonna catch fire all the way down. Now that we got this packed, I'm gonna show you how to light this. And this is the most important part because sometimes you can suck it straight through and then what's the point of packing a bowl? And for all you guys asking in the comments, what's that string around your lighter? This is called hempwick, guys. Hempwick, uh, it's just hemp rope, and I think it has beeswax on it. So basically, you know when you're lighting a bowl, or any of you guys from experience, you know when you're smoking a bowl and you're smoking the bottom of it, and you have to torch it sometimes, you're smoking a pipe and you have to torch it, and you get that fucking nasty butane taste, like lighter fluid? I know, I mean, if you smoke a lot, you've had it, we've all done it. What you do is you light it with this and there's no butane taste. It's just this and it has no taste whatsoever. So all you do is taste the smoke. You don't taste the lighter fluid because what's the point? Why do you want to taste lighter fluid if you're going to smoke good weed? Because it's, it's kind of pointless. You want to light the edges like in a circle like this. Not the middle. Because if you burn the middle, it's going to suck to the middle and that's sometimes when you get your weed clogged. That's like, you ever notice when you're trying to and it clogs immediately because you try to rip it so hard that here's the hole and all the weed suction at the same time and got clogged. What I do is I burn the edges, and right when I burn all the edges, they suck down and the middle's still lit. I mean, the middle's not lit, the sides are, right? So the middle's still green. But once the fire gets down like this on the sides, the middle green falls right down on the ember. So it all catches fire together. And that's when you get that full burn all the way through. Cause you know, sometimes you hit it and it'll be half a bowl, like it'll suck through and half of it's still green. It's so annoying. I don't know about you, but it's the most annoying thing in the world. It's like, ah, oh, I just wasted half a bowl. Cool. The proper way, guys, the way I hit the bongs, I have massive bongs. I have a lot of friends ask me like, bro, how do you hit this right? This is how I hit bongs every single day. This is the technique I tell everybody. You know when witches are like brewing their cauldron and shit and it's just like a bup, 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 bup. Slowly hit that first part. So say you have 100% lung power. 
you want to use 20 to start that shit, right? You want to use 20% of your lungs to start that flame. And then once this, the top falls in, start going to town. So you want to go. And then once it starts burning. See the difference? Like, I know a lot of you out there just start, oh, smash on it immediately and it gets clogged. It doesn't, it's just not fun. It tastes like shit. Or you see people hit it, filled up, and it takes so long to smoke because they're trying to murder it that it gets clogged and they have to stop. They put their hand over it, the stale smoke, and they try to clear it and they all start dying coughing. Bro, you're too technical. Well then, smoke your bowl shitty. None of that got sucked through. You saw that, right? Watch this. <coughs> Ready? Nothing. <coughs> I ain't fronting on that. I dusted the whole bowl and I didn't have to flip the bowl over and it was still green. <coughs> I smoked the whole bowl. One hit just because I did the circle and then started pulling. All right guys, I hope that was helpful. And remember, uh, this is just a preference. This is just how I smoke bowls. But as you can see, you can burn almost all the bowl all the way down in one hit if you pack it like a snap, like halfway. Let me know if it worked. I got a lot of messages saying that uh, the backwood tutorial helped and the how to roll a cross joint helped. So if you like this video at any time, give me a thumbs up. And for those of you like three people that keep giving me a thumbs down right when I post a video or right when I premiere it, you guys are whack. You guys know what I'm talking about. Everybody will comment like, damn, well, it just is up. You already disliked him. Like, you little bastards. It's all right, though. Thank you guys for liking it, for all you guys that are and everybody that's commenting. Thank you so much. So this has been How to Properly Pack and Hit a Bong. And remember, this is just my way. And if you have any suggestions also, leave it in the comments. I'm sure I don't know everything about it. I'm sure there's people out there that are like, yeah, 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 all that was good. But if you do this, this, and this, I'm like, oh, let me know. I'm always down to learn. Like I said, this is just what I've found the best way to be. If there's a better way or there's something I can add, let me know. Just give me a few days. If I don't get to you right away, I'm trying to hit everybody. So make sure you just give me at least a day or two. I'm not leaving you out. I'm just haven't got to the video yet. All right. This has been How to Use a Bomb. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Dope Zola. Have a dope ass day.